Oh my goodness. What a day, right? <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, Jimmy, got your message. Hi, Julie. Whatever. Yeah, no, I saw your, uh, Jimmy, I saw you said you guys are going to be hanging out. Um, I just assumed when you sent the message that was like an invitation, you know, so. Um, what are you guys eating on? You got, did you bring extra for me? <laughs> yeah, I come down here beaching it with you guys. And then you don't even have anything for me? <sighs> you know, Julie, <sighs> I think it's a little presumptuous of you for, you know, to come out and spend this much time with me and Jimmy, you know? I mean, we have plans. We have that big flag football event tomorrow, right? <laughs> Jimmy, we don't want to miss that one. The last time they got your flag. I'm hoping this time you're running a little faster, but when you get intimate with Julie, I'm just saying, like, it's not good. You wind up showing up, you're not motivated. You're just like, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And we're, tr we're trying to win, you know? No, Julie, look, I know you think you're helping, but you're not helping at all. You know, you should give Jimmy some space, you know, especially when we're here, when you're on the beach, you know, this is a little time for us to talk about the flag football event tomorrow. And, you know, I think you should kind of take a, a walk. Like, a, why don't you walk a, along the seashore, see if you pick up a couple of freaking shells or whatever, and Jimmy and I can chat it out. You know, I, I think it'd be better, you know, if Jimmy and I could have a little time alone, you know. I'm just thinking, and you know, are you good with that? No, no, I, you, Jimmy sent me a message. That's why I came down. He said that you guys are hanging out at the beach. What, hold up. That, Mark, hanging out at the beach with Julie. That to me is an invitation. I don't know. Like if I read that 10 times out of 10, I'm saying, oh, okay, come on down, you know? Hey, Mark, hanging out at the beach with Julie. Okay. Thanks for telling me where you are. I'll be down there in a few minutes. You could have said, I don't know where I'm just out. I'll call you later. You told me where the frig you were. You told me with Julie, like, come on down and rescue me from Julie. <laughs> you know? Like, listen, Julie, you have to understand when you're in the game with a brother, you're there to protect that brother. Okay? And if that brother needs assistance, if that brother needs to be saved from a Julie, then you show up. You go to the beach and you sit there and you have that conversation that needs to be had. Now let's talk about it, Jimmy. You gotta express your true feelings. Tell Julie how you really feel. Tell her that flag football is your life. <laughs> flag football. You know, it wasn't uh, until we were in the midst of the championship run last year with Wilson Flanders Good old Wilson. And that was when, you know, Jimmy first found his sea legs out there on that field. Wilson Flanders. Flanders was like, oh, Jimmy, give me your all. We lost Flanders. Civet. Sad. He was 746 pounds, so no one saw it coming. But Flanders was all about Jimmy. And he's saying, Jimmy, you go out there and do a flank pattern, flip a -roo. you take a left, zip, zap, zippity zoo, and you're not gonna get anybody touching your flag. It almost worked in theory, but then Jimmy decided to do a zag instead of a zig, and they grabbed the flag. And so that was why he just didn't take, you know, Flanders' complete, you know, advice prior to running that play. If he did, we had the win. We had the, the championship win holding the trophy over our heads. Not No, I'm not talking about, you know, like participation draw, everybody gets one. This was winner take all, one trophy that the team shares. We cut it into 50, and we all get a small piece of the trophy to believe in our houses. Well, this is my piece of the trophy right here. I did that with your Jimmy, and Jimmy was almost the greatest wide receiver flank, you know, man ever. You know, but then you came along, Julie. You came along, started distracting him. You take, you take that motivation. I, I see fire in his eyes. 
Jimmy, I'm sorry. No, I used to see fire in your eyes. And now you show up and you're just like, mm. like I don't get you. You know, you either go there to play and you get, you do it, you know, or you stay home, bud. You know what I mean? Maybe you should just be out doing like the mm -hmm. time with, with Julie, you know. But what I see, Julie, when you're not around, what he tells me is that he's got to get rid of you because you're doing nothing but bringing him down. Look, even the way you're look, looking at him right now. You know, it's just like condescending, you know. Like you look at him and then you give him that like you're not good enough look. It's just not right, you know. It's bad enough you're the third wheel. You know, did you get a call? Did you get a text from Jimmy? Tell him that you're going to be down here with you. No, you didn't. I did. Oh, hi, Jimmy. I'm going to be... Oh, oh, hi, Julie. It's Jimmy. I'm going to be down at the beach with you. No, you don't have one of those. I got one. Hey, Mark. Down at the beach with Julie. This is an 86... Escort. Four, four speed. I got here. No, Julie, don't whisper. That's rude. You know, like, you don't whisper. I'm here. You're going to try to whisper and tell Jimmy something, little secrets in his ear? You know? I mean, what you say, you could say to everybody. It's like you can't just keep information to yourself like that. This is a, this is a group effort. And in fact, we're here to break it off with you right now. I get calls from people. Jimmy's today's call. Yesterday's call, I'm just telling, I forget that guy's name, but I, Tim, Tim called me yesterday. Today I get a call from Jimmy. Who's gonna call me tomorrow saying, please help me out of this freaking relationship? <laughs> you know, I show up where I'm called, you know? I'm like the Inspector Clujot of splitting up people who have a bad relationship you know like when i get the call and it's not like the hey, hey i need you to mend my relationship it's like i need you to freaking firebomb this thing and so that's why i show up i'm here right now in order to take this sucker down you're hindenburging it we're hindenburging it you're gonna be like down in brunswick new jersey seven minutes flat and you know what people are going to talk about that for 100 years Remember the time that Jimmy and Julie were at the beach and Julie tried to whisper sweet nothings in Jimmy's ear? I remember that one! <laughs> right, Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy, why do you pretend like you all of a sudden don't feel the way you say you feel when you're not around Julie? But every time you're not around Julie, you're like, I can't freaking stand Julie. I gotta get rid of Julie, <laughs> you know? But then all of a sudden you get here with Julie and you let her like deceptive ways get you. You know, this is a freaking ruse right here. You're, it's witchcraft is what I see. Witchcraft. Because when I saw you earlier, you're like, please, please, Mark, need you to show up beaching it. I'll send you the message to tell you, Mark, I'm at the beach. You show up. You take her down Chinatown. We got to get this cleared. I need to have a clear slate. I'm moving forward. I did what I could. I show up. Then it's on you, you know? It's on you, Jimmy, to step up and be a man. You know, I can only lead you to water. It's up to you whether or not you want to drink that friggin' water. If you go to the water, I bring you the water and you just look at the water like an idiot? That's on you, buddy. You know what I mean? Like, I bring a dog to water, that dog's jumping in the water to drink the friggin' hell out of that water. I bring you to water? You're like, oh, that's good. I'm gonna go in that direction. What is wrong with you? I led you there. I gave you the freaking lead in. Julie, she's right here. She's ready for the kill. Let's hear it, buddy. I want to hear those sweet words that you spoke to me over the phone when you hired me for $1,500 to come here and break up your relationship, which was crap, clearly. By the way, did you bring that check? Because you know, you, you're, your credit card... It didn't work. It came back and said that it, it, there was enough balance. And it, so it was declined. And I was like, I, can't, I don't want to bother him, you know? I don't want to bother him before the, you know, the act. 
I'll go do it, you know? And then after, I'll ask him to pay me. I'm hoping you're gonna be a man about it. I mean, right now you're showing me you're not a man because you didn't step up yet in order to tell Julie how you truly feel. You know, what can I expect from you? You're gonna pay me now? Decline credit card? I show up, do the gig? Where's my $1,500, right? I mean, when I come out here and I'm expecting a check because there's no credit card payment the de declination, you got declined. <laughs> Jimmy, was that a, was that like a fake card or something? Are you trying to run me for some sort of fool? Because you know what happens, right? I showed up here, beaching it. You don't want to mess around with a guy who goes and splits people up, okay? That's just not something you want to do. Just let you know that. Oh wait, hold on a second. I got a I got a call coming in, guys. Let me just see. <laughs> it's another customer. <laughs> hold on a second. You guys mind if I take this call? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Yep. Yeah, yeah. This is Mark. Yeah. 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 No, I'll blast the hell out of that freaking thing. <laughs> oh yeah, you got one of the. I'm I'm dealing one right now. Yeah. He's like talking crap about her all the time, but then now when they're together, he's like, uh, maybe I don't feel that way. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna do that, right? You better not freaking do that. I'll tell you what, I will embarrass the hell out of you if you tell me you want me to go and firebomb the hell out of your relationship. I show up, I do the gig, I get the payment. By the way, you better pay me up front this time. I want a PayPal, I want a Cash App, I want a friggin' Venmo, you better send it over first, okay, before I do the, the, the business, because right now it seems like I'm about to get screwed by Jimmy here. Yeah, no Venmo. You can Venmo me, Venmo.com slash, I think it's Real Talk Mark, yeah. Yeah, no, that one's good. Oh, the Cash App, too. is for It's still the old Mark Pyre's Real Talk if you do the Cash App. Yeah, no, no, that, that one works, too. I don't know, Patreon, whatever, slash... Mark Pyers. What the frig? Do, do, do them all if you want to support. I mean, that's cool. I appreciate that. But look, I want you to understand something, okay? What are we dealing with? Like, honestly, from one to ten. Are we dealing with a, you know, I show up and I start, like, profanity right out of the, of the gate? Is it one of those situations? Do I come in there and I smooth it in? Like, you just got to give me the lead. You tell me where I'm going. Am I coming in there and I, there's an elbow being thrown in the first 30 seconds? I just need to have an idea of, what, you know, Jimmy, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude, but this is a paying customer here. You? Mm -hmm. Not really sure yet. Yeah, yeah, no, Jimmy's saying he, that he wants me to keep it down because he's trying to work his, you know, he's trying to figure out if he wants to work his magic or if he wants to break up with Julie. I, I think he wasted my time. Yeah, he, no, his credit card was declined. <laughs> Yeah, now run me through the Venmo real quick. I'll keep my eye out for it. If it comes through, I'll show up there. The seaside? Yeah, no, we're at, we're doing a beach thing right now. You, can you pick another location? That would be better for me. I, I don't want to do the same location twice. You know what I mean? Can't we go somewhere else? We're like, all of a sudden, we're like a movie theater. I got it. We're doing a movie theater next. Hold on. Let me just write that down. I got to find one. We're going to do it. I just thought of it in the moment. No, I know. That's what I do. You gotta understand, like, this shows it all in the moment, so when I think of something, if it doesn't get written down, it will never happen. So, movie theater, that's the next one. Yeah, no, no, I appreciate that, because you were part of it. And, like, seriously, if you weren't on the phone call, I never would have thought of movie theater as being the next Three's Company. And you know what? I'm gonna be that guy at the movie theater who talks during the movies, and everybody's like, shut up! And I'll be like, you shut the hell up! I'm here doing freaking breakup, you know, at the theater. They're trying to do their thing in the middle of a freaking Alec Baldwin movie. Yeah, Rust is a new one. And and they're doing it. And I'm just like back and sitting back, you know what I mean? And I'm just letting it happen, you know, movie theater style. Yeah. No, that's that's the move, really. I think um, it just kind of works, <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, okay, thank you. I appreciate your help on that one. Um, so look, uh, just shoot me that cash, 1500 and I'll be there. We're going to take down that chick. Yeah, no, she's not good for you. The way I'm hearing the way you're talking about her, she should never have left you there and told you, okay, find your way home. That's not right. <laughs> you know, like you want to be walking home 32 below zero to get home. 
17 miles on foot? You forgot your shoes, so you're walking with socks? Took off your socks in the first three 30 minutes because they're freaking, like, started to totally freeze. You know, your feet were gangrene in the first two and a half hours. And she was like, mm, you get home on your own. I get it. I get it, dude. Get rid of her. I'll be there. Shoot me that cash. Yeah. And no, yeah, we're going to do the movie theater. That one's happening for sure. Yeah, you got any, like, where are we looking? Are they, do they even have movies anymore? Like, I don't even, I'll look it up. I'll find it. Yeah. No, thank you. I appreciate you. What was your name again? Dominic. Okay, cool. Let me write that down. Let me write that down, Dominic, because we got to keep the consistency. You know, when you call back next time, if I call you Cleo or if I call you like Clarence or something like that, that's not good, Dominic. Like if I can't remember your name, what kind of, you know, what kind of businessman am I if I'm calling you the wrong name when you call next time, right? I, I know what you mean. Yeah, no, exactly. No, I appreciate you, Dominic. Look, I'm very much looking forward to helping you firebomb that relationship of yours, which has been nothing but toxic. Yeah. Now, Jimmy, this one's toxic, too. Yours isn't more toxic. You didn't pay. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, very good pleasure. Look forward to it. Yeah, thanks again for the movie theater idea. No, you're rocking. <laughs> See, I just threw a pic because of that idea. That's a side story. I'll tell you about that later. Yeah. All right, thanks. Have a, looks, Dominic, good guy. I'll see you soon. All right, take care. Guys, we're dealing with it, right? I just realized that how often I do the thing that Red Storm said. Jimmy. What are we doing? You know, this one wants to pay. I'm either leaving right now or you get out that freaking phone. You open up Venmo. You pay me immediately. Cash app. PayPal. Or you could do a Patreon and, and do it over a year period. I'll let you do that. We could say, oh, it's this much I'll just do over the next 12 months. I'll allow it, okay? But the idea that I'm here wasting my time, did the work, and now you're not getting your part done. That I really have a problem with, you know? <sighs> anyway, guys, look, I don't think I can hang out anymore unless you pay me, so I'm going to leave now, okay? Oh, hold on. Bing. I just got a notification. Venmo. 1500 bucks. Look, I gotta go. Dominic's a paying customer. Look, it's been a pleasure almost destroying your relationship. This, it, I, this is a freebie, okay? If you decide to pay me and I get a Venmo, I'll be back to finish the job, okay? But if not, this is the last time I ever want to see Jimmy and Julie. I've had enough with you. You know, are you serious with that attitude? Like it's my fault that Jimmy called and wants to get rid of you? You got an attitude me? I'm just the guy doing the job. I'm getting paid. Or what? I thought it was. Freaking Jimmy over here doesn't pay me. I know this was a ruse. He's like, I'm going to get the job for free. I'm going to call my credit card company and say, I'm disputing the charge. You didn't even get that far. You just decided to give me an old credit card or something. And now I'm here. Julie's got the attitude. You know? Whatever. You know, I just think it's interesting, you know, because Jimmy, I've done nothing but loved you. You know, like I did it all. I came out here, guns a blazing for you, you know. And then you just kind of let it fade, you know. You let that moment fade. All you had to do is grab that friggin' rope and be like, it's over. I'm ripping this thing down. The, the building is coming to building seven. It's coming down, pulling it. We got to pull it, they said. We got to pull it. And they pull it down. You just, you didn't want to do a building seven. You were like, mm, it's there, I'll leave it. It's there, it doesn't need to be pulled. You could have been like, we're pulling it, we need to pull, let's just pull it. That's what you, you had the option. Anyway, look guys, I've done all I can do. The rest, it's on you. <sighs>